Hey, what's up guys? This is Claude from Lowlight Innovations. Today I'm going to be showing you how to attach the new universal battery compartment onto your existing MH1 system. First step we're going to do is we're going to take off all four T6 on the front bridge. Now, the only tool you're going to need to do this entire battery compartment swap is a T6 and your fingers. So first we're going to start by taking these out. Next step we're going to do is we're going to carefully remove the front bridge. Now you'll see a bunch of electrical connections exposed. I would personally just put these little screws aside, put them somewhere in front of you or something. Now this plug right here, there's a dab of hot glue. You're just going to remove that. You could probably do it with your finger, it comes off just like that. We're going to pull this plug now. It comes right out just like that. We're gonna put the front bridge aside now, and now we're gonna move on to the battery compartment. Again, just T6, so that's all you're gonna need. should be out just like that. You're gonna want to weave this cable through and again, collect these little screws. Now the screws are specific to the actual part. So these smaller screws are gonna be to your battery compartment while these larger screws are gonna be to your front bridge. So we'll put these aside as well. Now keep in mind there is an O-ring right here. So you wanna make sure that that stays in place or if it falls out, just make sure you put it back in place before you reinstall your new battery compartment. Again, we're just gonna repeat this process. We're gonna weave this cable back through, center it, and now we're going to put these screws back in. Now, when putting the screws back in, keep in mind, these are very, very small screws. You don't need to torque them a ton. It's just pretty much finger tight. Um, nothing too crazy. Now we are going to reconnect the front bridge. So keep in mind, the bottom side where you can see the cables, that faces toward the board, while the side where you can't see the cables through the connector faces outwards. So we're going to reconnect this, just very carefully and just put this little cable in there. It's a little tricky to manipulate these sometimes. You should feel positive click I like to just twirl the bridge a little bit and have that wire make a small loop because we're going to put this wire now back inside of the bridge. Now keep in mind when you guys are doing this, make sure you do not pinch any wires. Um, that is probably the hardest part of this entire swapping process. Just have a lot of caution, make sure you, you know, look. And now that should be good. So now that I know we're not pinching any wires, we're going to recenter it with the screws. I like to go opposite directions.
And just like that, you have now swapped your MH1 to be an external power and onboard power system.